This is the recently announced HTC Hero, the latest Android smartphone from uh, from HTC, which of course also makes the uh, the G1 and the um, My Touch 3G, both on T-Mobile's network. What's most different about the HTC Hero is not just the hardware, but more the user interface. Uh, the HTC Hero has HTC's new Sense user interface, which we're going to show you in just a few minutes. But first, let's take a quick spin around uh, the hardware. HTC brings forward the um, you know some similar design elements that we've seen on its other Google phones. Has the chin that the G1 and My Touch have, although this one's a little bit more pronounced. You can see uh, quite a big angle there. On the front, we've got the uh, usual set of controls. We've got uh, send and end keys. We've got a home and menu button, trackball for navigation, a dedicated search key which fires up Google Search, and uh, a back key. On the left, we've got a uh, nicely integrated a, a volume toggle, which feels good, has nice travel and feedback. On the bottom, we've got HTC's um, mini USB port. Nothing along the right, nor, uh, nor on the top, except for a headphone jack. And on the back, we've got a 5 megapixel camera, but uh, no flash and, uh, and no vanity mirror. So the hardware is pretty attractive, it feels nice and good, and it has, of course, a large capacitive touch screen. So the hardware is decent, but uh, what, what really shines on the HTC Hero, of course, is the user interface. So let's take a look at that. This is the basic home screen for uh, Sense user interface on Android. You can see how pretty it is. Uh, HTC did a really good job developing this uh, user interface and it looks fantastic on this very nice and sharp screen. Using either the, the trackball or your finger, you can scroll to access uh, different screens. So here we've got uh, some basic applications, uh, area to add our favorite contacts, and we've got quick controls for some of the radios, and um, quick access to the camera, the albums, Google Maps, and so on. We continue to scroll to the right, and you can see bookmarks. These are, of course, web bookmarks to, uh, to different uh, internet sites. And this is all user customizable. This is just uh, what, what Google happened to put here. And there's a blank screen uh, that users can use to store their own stuff. We'll go in the other direction. And uh, you can see a mail program here. This is a, a mail program developed by HTC for Android handsets and um, it will help uh, users access uh, exchange-based email for, uh, you know, for, uh, for my from Microsoft. And of course we've got a messaging application here which uh, we will uh, just show you real quick. Here's, uh, here's the messaging application. If we want to type, uh, we can just uh, go ahead and type what we want and, and send the message. And uh, here's, uh, you know, different actions you can use here. We've got uh, we can insert smileys, attach uh, things such as photos, um, choose to put in some quick text, um, so, uh, you know, stuff like that. We'll go home. And the last thing, of course, on the, uh, the home screen is the weather widget, which, of course, is, uh, is fully customizable. Uh, we can open this. And uh, over in Barcelona, it's uh, nice and warm. Of course, that's 28 degrees uh, Celsius. Um, and uh, can't say that uh, uh, I wouldn't mind being in Barcelona right now. And of course, uh, they have a whole bunch of uh, other cities that are added here. Rome, um, Tokyo, you know, comes preset with some, you know, some world cities. There's New York. Of course, it also has Paris and London and so on. So that's the weather application, which uh, HTC loads on most of its phones. Back to the home screen, of course, uh, we can uh, access all the programs here. And uh, you can see all the standard Android uh, features listed on this screen. You know, and especially the Google applications like Gmail, G Google Ma Maps, uh, Talk. We've got Footprints, which is a neat application. It lets you... Uh, lets you drop breadcrumbs, uh, so to speak, uh, GPS breadcrumbs, so that you can um, find your way back uh, to somewhere you've been based on GPS data. That's pretty neat. And of course there's the phone application which is almost always available and um, it's bright and clear here and we can uh, access our contacts if we want to and of course we don't have any right now. Uh, we'll go back a screen. 
And you can also uh, look at a list of your recent calls and, and bring up the dial pad or send the dial pad away as you wish. And from here, uh, you know, you hit the menu key and each individual application will have its own little small menu here. And you can see that we can adjust the phone settings uh, if we wish from this screen. We'll just jump back to the home screen. And a little plus key lets us add new things. We can add shortcuts or widgets, uh, Android widgets and folders and such to the home screen. So these are all tools that the user can use to customize their um, Sense UI experience. And uh, of course, I like the Google search. You know, this is uh, this is uh, nice to have built into the um, home screen here. And of course, I'm a terrible speller. So we'll type in uh, phone scoop. Look, there's phone scoop. Pulled it up. And uh, this is uh, connecting via Wi-Fi. I don't have uh, an active uh, cellular connection. So phone scoop was a nice first entry that it pulled up. And it worked pretty fast um, to, uh, to pull up uh, your favorite website about cell phones. So uh, back to the home screen. Uh, has a nice little clock there, uh, which always lets you know the time. And, uh, you know... The Hero is not going to be available from T-Mobile in the U.S. T-Mobile has, has specifically said they won't carry this phone, and no other carriers have said they will. Um, HTC has said that uh, you know it's going to be bringing the Sense user interface to other phones, and we certainly hope this is the case because we, we like Sense UI. It's very pretty and, uh, and does a lot of neat things. So there it is, the HTC Hero and Sense UI uh, for the Android platform.